hey you guys and welcome back to another video i know i'm looking crazy right now y'all but at the weirdest time i decided to pick up a camera so i just put a mask on my face and um i'm about to wash my hair um you guys i i'm not gonna lie i've been very very lazy when it comes to my hair i have just been in this place where i am so lazy when it comes to my hair um, typically, I wash my hair every single week like clockwork. Here lately, that has not been the case. I don't know if you guys get like that, but y'all, I have just been super, super lazy. So I just got my hair braided in two um, and pinned up. Um, what I have been doing, I have been doing something different. I'm trying this out. Um, I made this little concoction. I know it looks a little weird, but I will explain in a future video i don't want to say what i'm doing right now just because i'm trying to test it out but it's something that i did kind of find during my research online um i will say this much it is supposed to promote hair growth now i do plan on doing a video very soon where i'm showing you guys how much my hair has grown now before i started this youtube channel my hair was pretty long and i ended up cutting it to about I think I cut it to about right here and my hair has grown since I cut it and I think that was maybe four almost four months ago so um yeah so I wanted to do like a video kind of showing like side by side comparisons so you guys can see how much my hair has grown now growing hair honestly um, there's different things that comes with that. You know, some people genetically just have that, you know, ability to grow hair. You know, that is a factor. Another factor is, like I said, you know, you, you just got to take care of it. You know, um, I try my hardest not to put a lot of heat in my hair. I try to keep my hair tucked away if I'm really not doing anything. A lot of times my hair is either braided um, and tucked away in like a little bun or here lately, I've been rocking my hair unit to kind of keep me from messing with my hair. But, you know, I just feel like having a hair routine that works for you, that can train your hair too to help it grow and flourish. But with all that being said, I have been super, super lazy. Very lazy. Um, right now, I have a mask on. You guys, I have been dealing with some breakouts. I used to have acne. Um, a few years ago and they call it adult acne because I never really dealt with acne as a child I didn't deal with it in my teenage years my you know 20s 30s like it really hit um I'll say kind of mid 30s and um it comes on and off like it's not a constant thing I deal with but I'm really trying to get a hold of my skin and yeah I'm trying to make sure that I'm not having a breakout like I did years ago. That was horrible. So you guys, what I've been doing here lately, honestly, is I just been chilling yesterday. Oh my gosh. Like I am feeling it in my back. <laughs> I was struggling with these curtains. Um, when we moved in this house, they had, um, some really, I don't know, the style of the curtain rods were not my thing. Even the black curtains that I used to have up, those were not my choice those were left behind here and I never changed it because honestly um we've been here almost two years I know that sounds bad that it took me two years to change my rods but there's a reason behind that one of those reasons being um we kind of felt like we wasn't sure if this was um where we were going to stay for a longer period of time um when we initially got this place we pretty much was like you know two years was the max and then we were going to find something else basically because we wanted to try to stay in the school district the school district that we're in because our youngest son this is his last year of high school and we like the school system so that was kind of our initial thought process but me and my husband kind of been thinking you know why not just stay a little bit longer until we feel like you know god is leading us to you know find something else we actually have been having people call us and ask if we want to sell because they are doing, um, you know, a lot of building over here in, in my area, which honestly, they're doing a lot of building everywhere. Like it's, it's very rare to find any location um, 
where they're not really doing a lot of building. But they have really been contacting us trying to see if we are interested in buying. Um, but right now, I think me and my husband are going to stay put because I honestly don't feel led to move right now. And I don't like to do anything unless I know the Lord is leading me to do so. So, um, but yeah, yesterday was something else. Um, I have been doing a little bit of shopping on Amazon. You know, I'm trying to really put my touches to this house because I've been doing a little bit here and there, but I've really been feeling, like I said, led to really put my touches on this house. And honestly, this is a really nice house. I really love it. Like there are some things that I kind of wish we did have, but you know, down the road, God may bless us with something else that will accommodate the things that we were not able to have in this home. But overall, this is a very beautiful home. We do love it. We're very appreciative. It is such a blessing how God even blesses with this house. That's an amazing story. Um, but the way they put these rods up, it was a mess. And, you know, my husband, he, you know, he works long hours and look, I'm, I'm that type of woman where I do not have to depend on my husband to do a lot of home maintenance stuff. I can do it as well. You know, it may take me a little longer, but I can do it. Right. So <laughs> I basically was like, I had babe on the phone. I'm like, look, this is the situation that the bolts, they use some kind of bolts to put these um, rods in that I'm like, look. Why did you use that? Like, come on. But I ain't even gonna lie. I was literally having to pray and ask God to give me strength for every bolt that they screwed into the wall to hold this, these rods down. And I'm telling you, God came through. He came through and I did the thing. I took both of the curling, uh, curtain rods down swapped them out got my new curtains up and i feel like it opens it up so these are the curtains um uh it's kind of dark hold on let me see if i can cut some more light on for you guys well i guess that's the best it's gonna do it's a little dreary outside because it's been raining for the past few days that's another reason why i've kind of been in this i really don't want to do anything type of mood but um these are the curtains and don't mind the wall i'm going to repaint that that area to touch that up but um yeah I just and also I was listening to my husband because I haven't bought curtains in a very long time and these curtains we didn't know for sure if I needed to buy one or two because I love the two panel look and as you can see I have so much space so I'm going to I've already ordered another set so hopefully I will get that on Friday and I'm gonna handle that so both windows we'll get another set, um, um, another set. So it will make it more fuller, but I also had to purchase like the curtain liners, um, because without the curtain liners, y'all, that sun is going to come right through because these are not considered blackout, um, curtains. They're very, they're kind of thin, but, um, you can kind of see if I can move this, see how you can still see that light peeking through, but with this, um, curtain liner, it really blocks out um, it blocks out the sun so I really like that but these curtains are really really cute um, I'm really excited uh, when it comes to um, decorating this room I have a lot of space it's not as big this to me is not really what I would consider a master bedroom and that's one of the things that I really you know kind of didn't like about this house but like I said the house in itself it is a very beautiful home and it's bigger than the rental property that we were in but I have a lot of ideas for this room so I'm excited um this is my youngest son's um uh computer desk and um actually don't mind the socks <laughs> um yeah this is his computer desk so um I have his desk in here to kind of keep him on track um you know because he is doing virtual learning right now from home but he's a senior and he's going to be starting college in the fall. So um, I'm going to actually be moving this desk into my son's room because he's almost done with um, school. He graduates in May, which is a trip to me, y'all. I cannot believe my little baby is no longer a baby. And really, you guys, he is taller than me. He's almost as tall as his dad. It's crazy to see how fast he has grown i'm so proud of him because i know there are a lot of parents who basically have said that you know their kids were struggling since you know the whole virtual learning thing and you know when the schools were kind of shut down that was kind of like the only option that a lot of parents had 
I know a lot of schools are back in session. You know, a lot of kids are going back to school. But honestly, my son has thrived being at home. His GPA at this very moment is a 4.0. And my son is, I wouldn't say that he um, didn't do well initially before things, you know, changed up with the school um, situation. He, he was good and he made B's, he made A's and B's. Um, but there were some things he struggled in and I can just see a major difference in just how his focus and his attention and just his drive in general changed when he was, um, you know, doing the virtual learning. So he's really been improving a lot and I'm so proud of him. So, um, but like I said, we're going to move his desk back into his room. My goal is to well, it's not even a goal. I'm definitely going to purchase me a vanity. Um, I'm going to be trying to find a vanity that I think is something that, um, you know, it's affordable, but it also meets, you know, what I'm looking for because I have never had a vanity. I'm so used to like doing it like old school, you know, how you got the stand up mirror. And sometimes I'll just sit on the floor. I'll do my makeup from that mirror or, you know, I'm standing up in the bathroom or I'm in my room like however I need to do my makeup or my hair that's how I make it happen but I'm like you know what I want a vanity so that's what I'm planning on doing I'm going to be trying to find me um, a setup that I don't want anything super big I don't want anything super bulky but um, I'm gonna have it in my room and it's gonna be in place of where my son's desk is right now I'm also um, expecting a an office desk because well, it's more like a computer desk for my husband. So I plan on getting that on Friday. And um, I know it's something that he's been needing. I plan on putting that upstairs as well. My office setup is upstairs, but um, I don't, I mean, there's no way we can share the same desk because I have a lot going on on my desk. So I'm just gonna get him his own setup. And yeah, so I plan on doing that. I'm really hoping everything comes um, tomorrow. Today's Thursday. Wow, this week has really flown. But I'm going to stop rambling at this point because I feel like I am. But, you know, pretty much my hair has not been washed for, I don't think, I haven't washed my hair in three weeks. This makes, this is the third week. So I've got to wash my hair. That's what I'm saying, y'all. I have been super, super lazy. But I've been making sure that my hair has been tucked away. Y'all, ain't this cute? Oh my gosh. Do y'all remember wearing the little pigtails when y'all was younger? <laughs> but um, pretty much what I have been doing, honestly, is I've just been applying this little oil mixture, massaging it in my head, like so, and just making sure I worked it in really good. And, um, you know, I would lightly brush out my hair because, you know, your hair, um, if you don't comb it or brush it after a while like you get a lot of shedding and your hair naturally sheds anyway but I just like to just keep it brushed plus um the type of brush that I purchased I got it from Amazon it's actually supposed to promote hair growth and it has like these little balls and it's not um because I've had some brushes kind of made like this and they really pull at your hair and they hurt this brush is very gentle on your hair and what it does is it releases the the sebum um, oil from your scalp and brings it to the strands of your hair. So this brush is actually supposed to promote hair growth. I feel like y'all are so close to me. But um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. I would lightly brush it, braid it back up, tie it back and go about my business. If I needed to go out anywhere, my hair would still be braided, tied back and I would throw a hair unit on or I've been rocking the headband unit, which I love by the way, that hair that I put on, um, I think it was maybe a month ago I did a video on that headband wig. Y'all, that hair is still not shedding. I'm telling y'all, that is that is some good quality hair. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. And also, you know, keeping my ends sealed because I'm really trying to stay on top of the ends of my hair because y'all know that is the oldest part of your hair. And, you know, you just want to make sure you're taking care of the ends of your hair because that's how you, you know, that's how you get length, you know. Um, you don't want to have to keep cutting your hair because it's like you're constantly starting over. You're never seeing the length. So I'm telling y'all, I really, really, really do not want to wash my hair, but I'm going to get her done. Um, 
I wanted to have a fresh, I want to have fresh hair too, because um, tomorrow me and my husband are finally able to celebrate our anniversary. We just had our anniversary on this past Tuesday. And of course, with it being in the middle of the week, um, you can't really celebrate, but we intentionally decided to wait until this weekend. So um, I don't know exactly what all we're going to do. We're just going to hang out, probably grab something to eat. I don't know what places to check out, honestly, because I do not want to wear a mask. Like I just, I just don't, but we'll see. But again, I'm rambling. Let me go ahead, get this hair washed and I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So you guys, I just got out the shower. I washed my hair. Of course, I'm, I washed my mask off. I'm not on here looking crazy, not too crazy. But yeah, I just um, washed my hair. I washed, I put it in two sections. I washed each section three times for each week. I did not wash it because <laughs> I told you guys I have not washed my hair in three weeks. Oh my gosh, that sounds so horrible. But um, yeah, so you guys, here's one of my shirts from my new merch. Um, shout out to the ones of you who have been purchasing the new merch that's out. I appreciate you guys. Um, but this is one of them. It's Making Kingdom Moves. I love it. I have different colors and I even have mugs as well. So, um, yeah, I will drop the link in the description box below so you guys can check out what that looks like. But yeah, I just have on, um, this shirt with some black leggings, super comfortable. Um, so yeah, but so you guys know, I went back to my Aussie, as they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Y'all, my hair loves Aussie. I'm like, girl, why are you, like, I ain't even gonna front. I probably will try out some more shampoos and conditioners down the road, but my hair loves Aussie, I'm telling y'all. So I use Aussie, um, what is this, the Miracle Moist Shampoo. I'm almost out because I use this on everybody's head, um, y'all. Y'all should know, um, but both of my sons are locked and I actually, um, I didn't record it, but, um, my youngest son, um, he wanted to get locked. I literally grew his hair out pretty well. Um, I was keeping it in cornrows and I actually locked his hair on, I think it was last Friday or last Saturday, but he's locked up. So, and my oldest, he's locked. Y'all seen I have a video on my youngest son as well. I mean, my oldest, but we all use the um, Aussie shampoo. I also used the conditioner. I need to get some more of this too. And I use the three minute Miracle Moist deep conditioner. You guys, I didn't do a mask on my hair today, but y'all, when I tell y'all that I've been using this for years, this Miracle Moist deep conditioner by Aussie is bomb. Y'all, when I rinse this out of my hair, my hair feels like butter. I'm not fronting. I'm not even trying to, you know, just be over-exaggerating with that. But I'm telling you, my hair loves it. And you guys, this has, all of these, has um, avocado and jojoba oil. And I use jojoba oil by itself anyway, because jojoba oil is a very light oil. And it's very similar to the sebum oil that our hair, our scalp naturally produces. And it has a lot of benefits. I also use avocado oil. I just bought me a tall bottle of avocado oil. So I'm just saying. So this oil mixture that I was telling you guys about, um, there is some avocado oil in this as well. So y'all, when I was looking at my hair, my hair is really growing. I'm super excited about how my hair is looking so far. Um, I feel like I'm on a really, really good path with my hair. I'm just trying to, I mean, and here's the thing, even if I'm being a little lazy with the washing, y'all heard back in the day, a little dandruff, it definitely can make the hair grow. Now, I'm not saying I was just flaking, flaking all over the place because I was keeping my scalp oiled with this, but um, I mean, three weeks is not bad. Even a month is not bad. As long as your hair is in a protective style, look, I'm just saying, when you don't touch your hair a lot, your hair has room to do what it needs to do. And believe me, everybody hair needs to grow. You just got to figure out what works for your hair. But um, in case if you're interested, this was the mask that I had on my face in the beginning of this video. It's by Proactive. It's called Skin Purifying Mask. Um, I've been using this for a while. I don't have a regular schedule when I do masks. I really need to. 
um, because I need to really stay up on my skin. But um, you can see I have a pimple here and I still have this scar right here that I'm trying my hardest to get rid of, but it's not as bad as it was. I had broke out really bad at one point, a few, I'll say about a month or a month or so ago. And this was the worst pimple I've ever had in my life. It was very deep. And I ain't gonna lie, I was picking the mess out of this because I'm like squeezing it, you know, trying to make it go away because it was so ugly and annoying. But it's taking a minute, but it is healing. It's clearing up. It's not as deep red as it, oh my gosh, y'all. It was like a deep reddish black color. It was just not cute, but it is starting to look better. So um, the plan is I'm going to let my hair air dry a little bit. Well, I'm not going to let it air dry too long, but just enough to where it's not super, super wet. This tile is really good at absorbing um, usually I like t-shirts, but this one is not that bad. Um, but I'm going to just let it dry just a little bit to kind of soak up some of that more, that water that's still in my hair. And I'm about to go make me some tea. So I'm going to take y'all with me. <laughs> guys uh, leave your tea bag in as you drink it because it doesn't take me a long time to drink my tea but I like the um I like the the fullness of the the uh the herbs that's in the tea bag so I let it I let it stay in there until I'm done now if it gets too strong I'll remove it but usually I drink my tea pretty good to where it doesn't get strong but I'm actually drinking um I think I showed y'all but it is green tea and I try my hardest. Sometimes I don't. Just keeping it 100. For the most part, I try to drink me one cup of green tea a day because green tea is loaded with many benefits. 
and it has a lot of antioxidants and it's just really, really good for you. So, and I love it with lemon. You cannot go wrong with fresh sliced lemon in your tea. Oh my gosh, it just takes on a whole nother level. It does. Mm. Here's um, one of my mugs, Making Kingdom Moves. And um, like I said, I have that in different colors, if you're interested. So right now I'm going to just go ahead and get my hair together. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to blow dry my hair later. I'm going to let it air dry um, for a while because I really don't want to do anything else to my head. And um, I'm going to let it air dry. And I'm going to, like I said, blow dry it. And I plan on curling it. Now, you guys, I am going to use a curling iron. I don't see how y'all be curling y'all hair with those flat irons. I need a lot more practice. But, again, I do what I know. And curling irons is what I'm used to. So, I'm going to use me some curling irons. But, um, like I said, I'm trying to get myself um, prepped. Because tomorrow, me and hubby is going to do some things to celebrate our anniversary. I don't know if I told you guys, but um, we've actually been married for 14 years. Yay, praise God. Um, we've been together for a total of 24 years. But um, that is my best, best friend. I love my hubby. So um, I'm excited about tomorrow. Like I said, we really don't know what we're doing. We're just gonna kind of wing it and see what it do. But um, honestly, we don't have to go anywhere. We can just be at home and just, just have a good time. That's just how we are. But I'm going to go ahead and detangle my hair off camera, and then I'll come back and uh, finish this up with you guys. All right. So, you guys, I have um, detangled one side of my head. You know, my hair was really tangled. It took me a minute. Um, the best way for me to detangle my hair is I had to apply um, some of this leave-in conditioner in which I was going to use it anyway, but I ended up having to put more than I typically would have just to get my hair detangled. And that's one of the reasons why um, I have to relax my hair um, within, you know, no, no longer than 11 weeks, which honestly I am past the 11th week mark. That's why my hair is so tangled. But um, my hair gets really detangled because when my new growth grows in, when I, when I went back, to relax hair. I intentionally did not want to relax my hair to be bone straight. I like to see texture in my hair. So when my when my new growth grows in, it's that, that demarcation that you know I have to deal with. Um, it's kind of like when you're transitioning to natural, um, you have that line of demarcation. You can tell between you know relaxed hair and your natural hair. So that's pretty much what I have to deal with, and it's so annoying. But um, yeah, but I was actually going to relax my hair um, this week, but I had a hard time finding the relaxer that I needed um, because a lot of places don't carry extra strength. Usually I find normal. If I was to put the normal um, relaxer in my hair, the normal strength, my hair would look at that relaxer and just be like, are you serious? <laughs> Like I have to have extra strength or my hair is not going to do anything. So I'm hoping that the amount, it wasn't a whole lot, but I did have to put more in my hair to loosen up the, um, the tangles. I'm hoping it doesn't weigh my hair down because of that, but I'm going to go ahead and apply some of my oil. Cause I told you guys, this is what I've been doing. Um, I've just kind of been focusing on my scalp and just, um, you know, working that in. And, um, you know, applying it to the length of my hair and to the ends of my hair. That's pretty much what I've been doing. And um, so far, so good, y'all. Like, I just, um, I'm trying to be consistent on, you know, what I do to my hair. Because I truly want to see a major growth spurt. Like, that's what I'm aiming for. And I know it's possible. I just have to be diligent. But um, I probably will 
more than likely relaxing my hair next week or this coming up week because I cannot like I know my limits and I cannot keep doing this with you know not um, relaxing my hair because like I told y'all in a previous video that can cause hair breakage and I'm definitely not trying to have any setbacks right now that's for sure so I just put a little bit in my hands and you guys my hair really absorbs a lot of product so that's why I'm really hoping too that it doesn't affect the um you know what I'm really trying to do with it I don't want my hair to be weighed down but at the same time I feel like my hair is going to be okay just because my hair really absorbs a lot of product oh that feels so good to do a lot of combing to my hair when it's still a little damp just because I know that can play a part in um, you know causing breakage but like I said with my hair being tangled I had to I had to you know comb it out and you know be patient with your hair oh my gosh like I get it because I was so annoyed having to take my time and work my hair in sections to get my hair detangled but just be patient with your hair because if you if you just go through your head and you start just pulling and yanking and you're gonna lose a lot of hair in the process so you just got to be patient I know it's annoying I know you want to just get it over with but trust me you do not want to see the aftermath of what your hair is going to look like after you finish combing it out it's not going to be a pretty sight so um I'm just going to braid it up. I'm so serious when it comes to taking care of my hair. Like, you, you got to be careful. Hair is very fragile, especially when it's damp or wet. Oh, gosh. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, man, I don't want to do this because I can feel it's tangled, too. But, um, yeah, y'all say a prayer for me. I don't want to lose any hair, so I'm definitely going to take my time. But um, I'm almost done with my teeth. So good. I'll be back when I'm done with this side. So I have detangled this side. I've already um, applied my oil mixture to it. And um, now I'm about to braid it. But you guys, while I was detangling, I ain't gonna lie, like, <laughs> I almost was on the verge of crying because I'm like, oh my gosh, my hair is so tangled. But I was praying it through, like, Lord, please help me detangle this hair and please do not let me lose any hair. I mean, of course you're gonna lose some, but it wasn't like where I was just pulling it out. You know what I mean? But you guys, like when it comes to, you know, your relationship with God, like you have to really allow God to show up in every area of your life. Because sometimes we feel like we're only supposed to call on him when we're really going through a trying situation. And it doesn't have to be anything devastating or difficult or hard that we're going through. It could just be the simplest things like, you know, me relying on him to help me, you know, to take this take the um the curtain rods down yesterday or like just now you know asking him to help me you know um detangle my hair like I literally rely on the Lord every single day you know and I talk to him all throughout the day and I just I rely on him so much and so you know don't just look at it as you're only supposed to talk to him when you're just going through something. No, talk to him throughout the day. Talk to him every day. Like there's not a day that goes by where I'm not just having a conversation with the Lord. I mean, you know, you don't have to just be talking to yourself out loud, but you know what I'm saying. It's um, it's just, you know, keeping him in the forefront of your day, like throughout the day, you know. Um, I just feel that it's important that we understand that he truly is with us. And if you really allow him to show up in your life, even in the simple 
in the simple things. You know, you will see that even when you're going through the hard, there will be no doubt in your mind that he, you know, he will be there for you. And so, you know, God has proven himself over and over again to me that, you know, he truly is with me and he cares, you know, even when it comes to, you know, just having difficulties and detangling my hair, like he know that that matters to me. So it matters to him to help me. So, you know, I just want to encourage you guys to, you know, just allow him to show up in your life, you know. Don't pick and choose when you want to allow him to be a part of your life. Let him be a part of all of your life. And you'll definitely see a difference in, you know, just how you understand God and just, you know, the confidence that comes with you knowing that whenever you call on him, he's going to be there. There won't be a doubt in your mind, you know, that God is with you and that in any difficulties, no matter how big or small, he's going to be right there to help you through it. So, just wanted to share that with you all. So I am done, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm so done. I'm going to, um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm gonna leave this up like this. Um, just let my hair just kind of air dry. It feels really good, it feels soft. I'm so glad God helped me get this done because man, it seemed like it took forever to detangle, but I'm glad um, he gave me the, the endurance to keep pushing through it because I wanted to give up and cry <laughs> but um I pretty much finished my pee it's all gone I'm hungry um I the only thing the last thing I ate was some oatmeal and I added some raisins and I made uh, a bagel oops sorry I made a bagel I gave my son the other half of that I'm really trying to lose weight, you guys. That's another thing. I'm really on a health journey. I'm trying to get my my body back in shape, and I'm just trying to get more healthy. Um, I'm getting older, and I just want to really take care of my body. Um, so I'm going to fix me some, I made me some tuna fish. So I'm going to make a little bit of tuna fish and eat that with some crackers. And um, yeah, I'm just going to chill out, y'all. And in case if you was wondering, as I know y'all probably noticed this table, um, I have this table here because I enjoy working puzzles and that's something that I probably will do today. Um, I love working um, the thousand piece puzzles. Um, so I just, actually I just got through working this puzzle. This puzzle was really fun. This is actually my third time working this puzzle. It only took me two days to work this. Typically, it takes three days, but this was so fun. I love puzzles with different colors. It's just, it's just interesting. Um, I worked this one. My son actually got this for me um, for Hanukkah uh, this year or last year. So I've already worked this one. This one was pretty fun. I thought it was going to be a little harder, but it actually only took me three days. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna work this one. This will be my second time working this puzzle. I really want to buy me some more puzzles, um, but the hometown collection, those are my favorite puzzles. I used to find them at Walmart, but it seems like Walmart don't carry these anymore. My husband told me to look online. I might can find them there, but I love hometown collection puzzles. They're just so beautiful to me. So that's pretty much the end of this video. Like I said, I'm about to fix me some tuna fish with some crackers. I'm gonna start on this puzzle. And I'm just going to hang out for the rest of the day. Um, these pillowcases I need to put on some pillows that I got in the back. But um, yeah, I'm just going to hang out. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm trying to change up the content. Um, I don't really know what you guys like or what y'all want to see more of. So I'm kind of just feeling my way through. And, you know, just trying to do some different things. But I hope y'all um, enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and please also let me know what do you guys want to see more of? Do you like this type of vlog style? Would you like to see me do more of it? Um, but please let me know so I can know what to give you guys. Um, I'm thinking of making some chicken fettuccine later for dinner. Um, that's kind of where I'm leaning. So yeah, so I hope you all have a blessed day and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, you guys take care.